Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Journey Beyond the Abyss. Yep, there we go. As you can see, between episodes, I expanded the platform slightly, and that's about it. That did allow the lasers to run a little bit, though, so let's see what else they have for us in their stock. I think I cleaned them out before, but let's just see. Yeah, they have a few more gates. That's lovely. Yeah, so we've built up a bit of a stock. So, we have a bit of a glut of choices for objectives right now. We're going to need... Uh, the three things I'd like to do before I move on to Chapter 7 are... I'd like to have most of the most common resources coming in automatically. I'd like to switch to biodiesel and have more diesel engines. And I'd like to have the most common immersive engineering parts completely automated. The engineering blocks, possibly the generator blocks. So, we need to figure out which one of those we need to do first. And they all kind of feed into each other. So we're going to kind of need to do a bit of all of them at the same time. I think getting more resources in would be the most advantageous. And one of the resources I'm going to need the most of that I can't really mine up... Well, I, I, I do have a liquid spot, but I want to use the liquid iron for steel. So I'm probably going to need another excavator. And what's more, if I go with a hematite or limonite excavator... Let me show you just hematite here. That's going to need a dedicated crusher, and that produces this iron cluster. So it's going to need some sort of dedicated processing on site if I want storage in the form of ingots. And for that, I'm going to need lava. Yep, I'm going to need a centralized lava production so that I can have remote site smelteries. So, I forgot that I no longer have a manual. Right, that's one of the things that was lost with the last backpack. Hmm. I don't really have a lever anywhere on me right now, do I? You know what? We can remove the uh, debugging condition from this. Or even better, we can just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that That is a plan, too. Um, I do have a limonite spot. So... Do I have a book anywhere in storage? I don't know if I do. I don't think I do. You know what? I can buy a bookshelf from the Normans because I sold them a ton of bookshelves. And just break that with something that don't have silk touch. That'll get me a book. But yes, I'll, I'll probably make limonite and excavate, or I'll probably excavate limonite, just so I have nickel coming in too. I've dedicated a storage spot to limonite. To iron and nickel, I should say. Alright. No, I don't want the quest for you. Oh, right. Need to take out the deniers. So, yeah. You guys have a bookshelf for me. That's good enough. And I should just be able to... Yep, there's some books. Oh, you know what? It's been a while since I checked in on the village. I should see what they need. But yes, hello, Prince. Good morning. Did you see the huge drop of... Epi Holy crap, no construction in progress? All building goals completed? All they need is some iron to finish off the walls. Well, that's further inspiration to get iron mined, isn't it? Yes. Then I can just drop them a couple of stacks and they'll be done. <laughs> but yeah, Riley, all the way up to episode 100. Looks like his episode 100 is pretty far into episode... Is into chapter 7 pretty far. It's inspiring stuff. Intimidating, but inspiring. Yeah, no, this is Scribes. Okay, new manual, and may we never lose it again. So... 
So, hello, 12th Century Fox. So, we need a source of lava, and uh, I don't think I'm going to dedicate a pump jack to it. Right now, power is our most precious resource. Pump jacks take up an entire fifth of a diesel engine. And, yeah, I probably wouldn't need to run it very often, but... Yes, until I trash it again, or lose it again, or whatever happened. Where should these go? Eh, they're kind of a miscellany. So, I think I'm going to make a lava machine. Yep, I'm just going to make a lava machine. And that's what I wanted the book for. I wanted to look up how many sh pieces of sheet metal does a tank take. Oops. It takes 34. 34 pieces of oh, sheet metal. Well, that's easy enough. We've built up some iron sheets. We can just doop doop. And we don't have all the fences that we need. So, how much do we have in storage? I don't know if we have any treated wood. Hmm. Ah, we do. Okay, cool. Alrighty then. So then I should just be able to... Wait, that is still Sequoia. I should have really... I, I should really switch back to jungle wood just because it's more visually distinct. It's what I'm going to end up farming. Ah, right. Right. No, I can't because... Right, right. Okay, so let's just... Um, yeah, I don't want to pick this up anymore because then that'll... Pick up the um, HV connector on the bottom. <laughs> well, that means that sooner or later we'll have uh, pleasant surprises for you in the plot, won't we? It was really fun to read. I'll probably be uh, doing Let's Read Syrup Leaf like every alternate day or so. Alright. And I don't have any barrels of creosote up here, do I? Well, let's go pick one up. Hmm. I don't use creosote that often, but I do I do use treated wood fairly often. I'm gonna need lots of treated wood fencing for the storage system. Maybe I should automate creosote oil sooner or later. Ugh, that needs to pour out. Yeah. Build a bunch of like Coke ovens. Well, I won't really be able to fully automate creosote oil until I can fully automate wood or have coal coming in. Both are a little ways off. Hmm. Don't know. Don't know. Eh, whatever I do. Definitely need something that pours faster than these spigots. Yeah... One thing at a time. We must sate our thirst for lava first. Yes, we need that tasty, tasty lava. Just to stick our head into it. Mm. Irresistible. Alright, that should make us a little bit of fencing. Uh, they are rarely useful, but yeah, I haven't moved them yet. Just out of sheer laziness, to be honest. Okay, so... I think that... Yeah, to make an even amount of sheet metal, I would need two more. Okay, there we go. And that should... Right, I'm gonna need to pick up some more lava for this. Let's just empty out one of these over off the crucible. 
that those are the lava, right? And that one is full, right? Right. Let's just empty that out into the system. That's another reason that we need an automated lava machine or an automated lava source so that we can pipe it over into here and never have to do this again. And shut down the fountain at long last. Because it don't have a pollution filter. Alright, so. Come on. There we go. So, I see no reason not to continue the line of liquid storage, just right down the same line. And from there, just... And now climb up the... And just go on up. Right, two extra because it needed that to craft evenly. Right, right, right. All right. And that'll eventually be a lava tank. So, what do we need to make a lava machine? Well, we're going to need a couple of crucible ovens. Eh, I suppose that I could just take the one that I have right now, but we're going to need more than that. And there's where I'm storing sheet metal. But we're, yeah, we're going to need a couple more crucible ovens. We're going to need a lot of piping. We're going to need... Hmm. Yes, what could possibly go wrong? I mean, we've used lava in the heat exchangers before, so it's technically related. Uh, we're going to need a garden cloche, because I'm going to use that to fuel it. Uh, in my testing world, I've determined that a single garden cloche growing sugarcane can fuel roughly four um, of these refractory uh, furnaces. They can fuel four crucibles, um, kilns, whatever. So, to make a cloche, we are going to need... Essentially, a heavy engineering block and a vacuum tube. The rest of it, we all have. I think that we can even use clear glass for that. So, we need to make a heavy engineering block. And for that, we're going to need to make all the other engineering blocks, as per usual. Uh, am I out of ingots of iron? Yeah, it looks like I am. Well, that's a good old-fashioned easy problem to solve. Yeah, that's another reason that we need to get iron in. We need to stop doing this stupid dance. I just want this to be done forever, you know? And that'll be a huge part of automating the whole thing, too. Is just having... Having the silos up and ready and starting to get the lines coming out of them. Hmm. Whole lot of lab. Uh, yes. That would work better if I had a slightly different accent. Maybe a Midwestern. Oh, whole lot of lab. Uh, yeah, maybe. That's not Midwestern. That's like... That's like northern near Canada-ish. Alright, get me just a few ingots of iron, please. <laughs> and it's your own fault. You can't blame me. Your fate is your own. Okay, and that'll 
Now get me my NG blocks. So that I can just... Oh, right, the mechanical components as well. Um, do I have any mechanical components in storage? It looks like I don't. Alrighty then, and... I need to go pick up some more copper from the copper store. Well, let's just get that set so that I can start chucking things into there. And let's go pick up that copper. Hello, computer wizard. Lovely to see you this morning. Hmm. We are beginning initial work on a lava machine. Well, I'm glad to have you for however long we'll have you. Thank you. So that's silver. Is the copper storage still... I know I have more storage of copper somewhere. I can't have spent all of it. Yeah, we moved the copper, like, somewhere close to here, didn't we? Ah, there it is. There it is. Huh. You know what? We might as well just move that whole crate. We'll use it eventually. Forgot where I moved the copper to. Probably an indication that I was stupid to move the copper, huh? I think it was because I was plotting out that, like, it would eventually become a bronze refinery. Or something. Yeah, let's just... You know what? We'll just put this crate up, like, here. That'll do. So, we can just chuck those in... And chuck those in. And chuck those in. And that'll get us some light engineering blocks. Beautiful stuff. And clean her out. All right. And now, yeah, I just need four pistons to make my heavy engineering blocks. The drawer mod? No, it doesn't have storage drawers. It do not. It really doesn't have a great storage solution until we get, like, into, well, into applied energistics, really. Did I really not have any cobble sitting in my storage system? So, we have to make do with uh, what we have. And right now, a bunch of storage silos is kind of the best we can do. Hmm. That's rather morbid. Well, that poor village. <laughs> so the village shall not die, but it shall not grow either, because you need at least two villagers, don't you? Alright, so... We're going to need five pieces of Electrum, and the rest is just a bunch of steel. So, I should have some Electrum. Yep. And I should have some steel. Indeed. And there's our heavy engineering blocks. Alrighty then. So, that's most of the problem solved. Now, we're just going to need to make some nickel plates. Let's just chuck in a block of nickel. Has the iron finished raining yet? Yep, sure has. So.
switch it over into plate mode. So you've just decided that the village that got decimated is now your village and you shall you shall grow it again from nothing. That's a nice little project to always have. I mean, I can tell you that having the Normans as my own little bonsai village is nice. I'm kind of mournful that the uh, village is saying it's complete now and all it needs is a bit of iron to finish off the walls. Ooh. That does sound interesting. All right, so the other things we're going to need for the cloche. I should just have that on my... Yeah, we're going to need the vacuum tube, so that's going to need the plate. That's also going to need a little bit of copper wire. Uh, you know what? I should move up the metal press. I should just move the metal press up. Yep. Hmm. That's one that I've never played, so... You have a lot of interesting mods. You have a lot of interesting mods that I've never really poked at before. Alright, so we're gonna need this. This. We're gonna need it all, really. Yep. Good, there was nothing in that. Alrighty then. So, where shall we put the... Oops. Yeah. Where shall we put this lovely metal press? Hmm. Yeah, that would do it. I mean, they're usually the first into danger, so they might be the first to go, but they're also the probably the, the ones with the best chances. Yeah, I haven't seen anything about it in my in any of my videos, and I haven't seen anything like in my spam filter either, really. Uh, where to put this? I was kind of putting everything behind the tanks here. Yeah. Okay, so that's gonna need. It's how does a metal press go? It's like that, that. And was it the... No, it's the piston in the middle? Book. If I'm not sure, read a book. No, it's the redstone engineering block in the middle. I remember how a metal press goes. And then it's the piston on that. We'll need to hammer that properly. And then it's the heavy engineering block on that. With... I'll just put this here. And conveyor. Belts all the way across. Now, I just need to hammer the piston into proper alignment. And there we go. That is a metal press. So, where to put the connectors on this thing? Maybe this is a bad spot for it because it's really close to the... I mean, it doesn't really super matter now that I'm wearing my uh, HV armor. My my Faraday suit, but eh, it's bad practice to have cables so close to an area where I might wander. Hmm. Hmm. Well, for now. For now, it'll do. So, this is going to need one of these here. And we'll just kind of pipe it as straight as we can. Mark, this is where we want to pass through. And... Down we go. And... Hammer it. There. That works. So, then we just need to figure out how to route power to it. Also, turn that off. Remove. Hmm, so I guess here, then it can over there and over there. Yep, that'll do for the moment. We'll see that if I 
if I ever get shocked by it, like if I'm ever walking around my base without my Faraday armor and I wander over to repair my tools or something and I get shocked, then this will be problematic and we'll move it. Until it's a problem, though, we'll, we'll just trust it. So now I can put all my presses back on there. I want wire on it for now. Ending storage chest over there. The rest of y'all can just sit in place. Yeah, I don't know why I have a plate press on it. Really, wire and rod are the only ones that I'm ever going to need. Just because I have so many better sources for all the others. That sounds really cool, Computer Wizard. All right, so that gets us our wire. And from there, we're also gonna need nickel plates, which this didn't start pouring automatically. Oh well. And we're also going to need glass. Can I use clear glass for this? Please. Can I please use clear glass? I can. And that makes us a bunch of vacuum tubes. All right. Excellent. So I think that's the last that we need really for the cloche. Where did my heavy engineering blocks go? Why did I put them there? Mysterious. So, next we're just going to need a ton of treated wood. That's hopefully enough. And a bunch of glass. Hopefully, clear glass will again be accepted. Okay, just need a iron mechanical component, right? Garden Cloche, the first of quite a few that we're going to be making. Alrighty then. Yes, the Stampy Machine. It's a pity that we probably won't be using them very much. They are very satisfying machines to watch. So, we have a Garden Cloche. Now we're going to need a couple of Refractory Crucibles. So those are going to need tanks. A bunch of tanks. And that's also going to take these. We're going to make... Yeah, let's just make three because we'll tear down the fountain too. Yeah. Yep, yep. Alright. Have four in total because that's roughly what the cloche can feed. So... Next, we're going to need a bunch more masonry bricks, a bunch of pulp, and we're going to need more than that. We are going to need more than that. It's slightly suggestive. Oh, my. You have quite the dirty mind, do you? And I suppose that a machine that's violently pistoning down over and over again thrusting itself down into the into the uh, unyielding harsh plate well unyielding harsh that sounds less suggestive hmm. yeah it maybe doesn't quite work you know I should just swap these out for chests chests are so cheap now they have so much more space there's no reason to use these for our intermediaries anymore. What do you mean I broke it? It's still working. It just needed a little bit more convincing. 
just a little bit. So now, can I make at least 21? Yeah. There we go. And a bunch of crucibles. Now I'm gonna need a bunch of refractory clay. Oops, wrong one. Yeah, that's not gonna be enough bricks, so need to make some more. We haven't done the, re the old refractory clay dance in a little while. Oh boy. So, where's my limestone? Uh, da, 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 da. I should have some. Yeah, there we go. That's good enough. Let's make a whole bunch. Oof. Powders, they weigh so much for inexplicable reasons. have a whole lot of clay in there. I mean, we, we have a bit, but we could always have more. Uh, we are going to need more flint than that, aren't we? Well, it should be enough to get us by. And that's really all we can expect in life. I said uses for you, please. There we go. And that should make a little bit of refractory stuff. And right. Also need to take these to be slaked. The refractory dance is so much faster now that we have all these machines automatically filling in liquids except for the clay, isn't it? Alright. Stack of bricks. Second stack of bricks. Honestly, that's probably more than enough for what we need to do. And that should resolve things for a little while. Let's just get these as well. It's very satisfying to see that water tank automatically refilling. No longer do we have to bucket things up like some peasant. Oh, that's wonderful news. Alrighty then. And... Yeah, that'll be more than enough. Honestly, I way overbuilt, but that's the joy of life sometimes, isn't it? So, I'm gonna need 12. Yep, that'll do. And then I'm gonna need 12 of these. And that will be all the stone crucibles that we need. So, next we're going to need a butt-ton of pipes. Like, more than this. More than what we have on hand. And let's melt a couple of gold blocks down into... Well, let's just chunk them up. Let's just chunk them up. Yes, but where's my fear and surprise? I don't have quite all the weapons in my arsenal together. Need more glass. Gonna need way more glass than this. Uh, we need that silt excavator. We needs it.
Hmm? Yes, the outfit. Well, I, I don't... I like purple more than I like red. I don't dislike red. I just really like purple. Okay, so... Fill that up into our logistics bag. And next, we are going to need some hoppers. Yes, we are going to need quite a few ho more hoppers than what we can build right now. So, da, 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 switch this over to making me some chests. And give it a couple of boops of water. And yes, yes. Very nice. Regal. Why are you not? Ah. Need to be careful about that. Alrighty then. Eh, more. Build more. Oh boy. And one more for luck. Ah, shoot. We're going to need more glue, aren't we? Yeah. We are completely out of glue. Oh, boy. Well, that's also easy enough to resolve. We just need to let our clay continue melting down so we can steal some out of this. And what was that? cheapo recipe for glue it was wood pulp slime clay so we're gonna need a bunch of wood pulp do I have any logs in storage I have jungle logs good enough I think just one of those should do it and that makes five of them right yeah no, that makes four. So, three, four, two stacks. Uh, no, I think not yet. Not yet. Three stacks. Not quite yet. And four stacks. And that should chunk down that entire stack of jungle wood into pulp for us. So next we need to see, do we have enough clay in stock? Yes, we do. And I don't think I have a stack of slime. Okay, let's go get a stack of slime. A visit to the blood bank is in order. You know, I wasn't expecting to make quite this much use of the blood bank, but it turns out that since pipe sealant is made out of blood, yeah. That's another thing that we can start automating now that we have gates. I can use gates to ensure that the blood bank's smeltery is never empty. Like, I can have it just stop extracting when it's 25% full. Uh, it will eventually be a project. It's a project that we can't tackle until the next chapter, though. From what I can tell, the best woodcutting tech that I have available right now would be Steve's Carts. And Steve's Carts are our next chapter. That is also why I'm kind of indicating that I'm eventually going to be switching to Jungle Wood. Because that's probably the best that I can automate with Steve's Carts. It can't do Sequoia. So yes, eventually, eventually jungle wood will become more convenient than sequoia wood once more. So I might as well get used to using it for everything and cycle the sequoia wood out.
I mean, now that the the roof project is really the big use of wood, that is one that I probably should have done Sequoia for, but, I mean, it can't. I don't think Sequoia stairs are a, a cheap thing. Like, most... Yeah, there it is. Giant Sequoia stairs. Oh, no, that... That could just... Well, it, it would require the carpenter. So it would have required waiting even farther before I... Oh, and... Yeah, it can't be fireproof. It would have to be unfireproof. Yeah, all the carpentry recipe, recipes for Sequoia wood, like... For Sequoia wood furniture and decor, I guess you would call it. They aren't compatible with the fireproof. And unfortunately... Fireproof sequoias are the only ones we have right now. I would have to... I think I would have to... Commit to... The forestry tree breeding to try and breed it back out of them. And I'm not even sure if that's possible. Hmm. Questionable. All right, so I think that was wood pulp in the corners, clay on the cardinals, and we don't... Yeah, that fails so badly sometimes. Hmm. Maybe I should upgrade that to use like a fluid pump or something. Then I would have to be really sure that I always... Well, no. You are correct. Thank you, sir. Why are you not? What's going on with you? Oh. That's not connecting somehow. That was bizarre. That was just plain bizarre. And yeah, I really wish I could figure out what was up with these not uh, auto-pouring very well. Hmm. Is it some sort of derpery with the hoppers? Would it be better if I switched into buildcraft pipes? That would that would waste a lot of pulsers. Hmm. Would be worth it if it works. Have to test it in my test world. Regardless. Stack of slime. And now it's just gonna require a bit of refractory clay. Or just liquid clay, I should say. You know what? Yeah, let's make a new tank. Hmm? Okay, so we had a minor lag spike, so we're not quite lag-free. But it is looking a lot better, isn't it? We haven't had quite so many spikes to deal with, and it was a really brief lag spike that we did have to put up with. Alright, so... Starting to build up a nice collection of tanks for this thing. That is the right one, right? Alright, we also need to... There we go. Glue! Huzzah! So that's... Five... Yeah. Ten... Fifteen... Twenty... Twenty-five... Thirty... Thirty-five... Forty... Forty-five... Fifty... Fifty-five... Sixty... Sixty-five... And that's also going to need another piece of slime. 
and another four balls of clay. Yeah, I didn't know that the game went into expert mode when you switched dimensions. That's interesting to know. I wonder if that's going to affect how the Abyss uh, plays in this pack. Or is that just something that, that uh, your mods do? And not something that's a vanilla mechanic? Yeah, we can just abandon these pyrotech chests entirely. Just away with you. Ah, well. It's still an interesting choice of things that uh, that happen. All right, all right. I keep forgetting that the sticks are down here. So, need those, need those, need a bit of those. And that should finally make us some hopers. Wood hoppers, that is. Alright, that's carpenters, not basic. There we go. Yep. And there we go. And we can just chunk that glue in there. Now, hopefully that's enough hoppers to get by. We are going to be using quite a lot of them, though. All right, now let's get this started. So, first of all, yeah, I think I'm going to just put a uh, put a new buffer chest right here, right here. So that's also going to need one of these, another gate, another pulser. Honestly, maybe I should just move the chest that's already up there that I just put down as a demonstration, but meh. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. My tools are a little bit too fast for my own good sometimes. So, da -da -da -da. And on this one, I want to say when inventory on north, let's do 50% for our storage buffers. Then emit blue. Let's reduce you to 50%. And on you, I'm going to need another. We have more AND gates than OR gates. Pulsar. A little bit of pipe. And wind blue pulse. Oh yeah, there's another trick that I could do here. I can also say, put on another color of wire in another knot gate, or an, in another gate of any type. Just a single piece of wire here of a different color, and I can say, when you contain 25% emit white. When you contain less than 25%, I should say. So, on this side here, this is an AND, oops, wrong one. This is an AND gate, right? So I can say, when not white, and let that into the condition. So now, when that chest up there has need of goods, we'll just reduce that until it do. Notice that it still isn't pump, that it still isn't pumping because the system wasn't a quarter full yet. So I can make it so that this chest reserves a little bit for other paths. And the main line has lower priority than other paths that don't have that, uh, that logic on it, that additional logic on it. Yeah, I think that's a little bit of a sexy behavior right there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we're going to run our pipe, our functional pipe, down just under the base, I think. 
Where do we want to build our lava machine? Well, we probably want to build it behind the lava tank somewhere. Like, yeah, this will do. Like, we, we're kind of, we've taken up a lot of our space already, but this will be a fairly compact machine, I think. So, right here-ish? Yeah, let's mark that for ease of visibility. And on this side as well, going to need another extraction pipe. Down, sneak it down there. All right, now it's right there. Okay, cool. So, we're going to need a gate and a pulser. Just any old gate will do on this one, I think. Because this will be a super... Oops. Not on that side, please. Where did my gate go? It must have just got ejected into the void. Oh, well. Gates are cheap enough that I'm not going to bother hunting it down. So, pulser as well as a bunch of blue pipe wire. I think blue is going to be my main signal because eventually we're just going to be mining up lapis so we can make it very, very cheaply. So we're going to say wind blue signal, pulse the pipe. And we're just going to run it on down over to there. Let's get it a little bit of a distance away. Yeah, that'll do. Run it on over. And where exactly is it? Okay, cool. So I'm going to need to run this under a bunch of jank. Over to there. Yep. Let's start putting the pipe wire on. Might not have enough pipe wire in storage. Well, we'll pick up more. We have tons. And yes, and here now you see why I wanted to build a platform. Swimming while laying out a pipe is a bit awkward. So having a nice, solid piece of land to stand on is very convenient. That and the fact that if I'm wearing my Faraday armor, I don't have an air tank. So working underwater is even more awkward. Alrighty then. Yep. This is working out conveniently. But yes, it's a good thing that transport pipe is relatively cheap, because yeah, you need tons of it. Really, the only unfortunate thing is the glass. And we'll have glass figured out sooner or later. Oops. Yep, need more pipe wire. Probably just grab a couple stacks of it. Over to the lasers. Ah, the lasers are finished. Lovely stuff. Eh, I'll let them rest for a little while. No, I'll, I'll chunk in the rest of these iron chips. That's just so that I can finish off the gates. Yep, that's literally all a gate is. Is it's just an iron chip set. An iron chip set is just a piece of iron and a piece of redstone. So yeah, gates are pretty cheap. Use them everywhere. So, run that over as far as we can. And now, 
need to start linking up my pipe wire. Over onto there. Oops. And get over there. There we go. Squirrel the wire on everywhere. Oops. Oh well, it's fine. Yep, okay. So that'll run a pipe and a wire over all the way over there. Now, I can probably start tearing down the lava fountain. Well, I'll, I'll... Yeah. You know what? I'll keep it up. I'll keep it up just in case I need lava for... No, wait. No. If I need lava for the... If I need lava for the um, carpenter, then I'll just run it over into a barrel. Yep. So, pour it out just so that we don't waste... Just on general principles. And then let's... Then let us tear down this wonderful fountain that has served us for so long. Not quite as long as the ever-venerable clay fountain, but... It has still had quite a history. Quite a storied past. But... Now... Oh, right, I'm going to need igniters, too. Thank you for reminding me, Lava Fountain. Huzzah! It served one last time. Unintentionally. Yeah, let's just throw those in Miss Laney. Waste not. Definitely keep that button. So, we're going to need... Three pieces of redstone... Three pieces of redstone dust. What else goes into an igniter? Those bars. Do I have bars anywhere? I have two of them. Well. And then I think I have three iron shards here. And we can just dupe. There we go. And from there, it's just a bunch of masonry bricks. Okay, more ignitars. There we go. Okay. So, right, we're also going to need some fluid extraction pipes and fluid pipes. So, I have some in storage already. Um, and I have some fluid pipes already. So really, it's just the extraction pipes that I need. There we go. And how do we want to lay this out? So, extraction pipes like right here. Refractory crucibles like right on top of it. That's just fine. So, hoppers. How to do this? Uh, I think I can save myself some pulsers. If I. This, 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 this. And then if I. Yeah, because. Because these operate like regular old hoppers. This means that. These will pull from these because they are open at the top. So, then if I pipe my... Well... You know, I think I want these facing the other way. Oh, that really doesn't leave much space. Do it. No. Okay, okay. That's no big deal. That's no big deal. That also means we're going to need more hopper. We need more hopper. Not terribly much, just four more. One of these days I'll remember that the tool sticks are down here. One of these days. Four of those. 
and a bunch of wood into the old carpenter. And there we go. So that also means There we go. Can't believe I made that jump. So, if we just two, three, four, that means that is the destination. Huh. I almost I almost predicted where to send it correctly. Get up there, please. All right, so I'm going to need a pipe plug just to keep this nice and neat. Right there. Anywhere else? Yeah, right down there. Okay, so gate on you. This is quite a long distance, and it's quite a small storage, even though it's going to be draining everywhere. So I think I'm going to say... Stop when you contain 50%. And blue pipe signal. Start sending the wire down. Oh, I still got the wrong side. Oh well. A little bit of wasted wire is not a huge deal. And that should start sending cobble. All right. Hmm. Unfortunate that it'll that it'll go through the lighting. Yeah. Oh well. Oh well. I'm sure it won't be the first or last time that we inter. Well, it might be the. No, it isn't the first time. The first time was the smeltery, so it isn't the first or last time that we'll have to interrupt our lighting with. Pipe bullshit. Yeah, I'm just gonna pipe that straight into the bottom there. Oh, yeah. Also, I'm gonna want pulsers on all of these. And these will just be yes. If you right click a pulser, it will always pulse. It does not need logic. All right, so just, oops, just down there. Okay, so that is the lava draining out. That is the cobble coming in. Really? Are you not coming in? What's going on? What's going on, cobble pipe? Ah, oh, that's interesting. I guess the pipe wire bugged out or something? Oops. Huh. Well, that was weird. Yes, we should see that once cobble comes in here, it goes all throughout. It'll drain down into here, and then when this is full, it'll drain down into here, and then into here. And this should pressurize the system, eventually. Right, I'm also going to need... Yep, yeah, I'm going to need to move the metal press, because... This is unfortunate. Let's just put this down here for now as a note that I need to move that. Mm. So, I'm gonna need some structure pipe leading on down into here. 
Hmm. See you later, uh, computer wizard. Thank you for stopping by. Always beautiful to have you here. So, need these down here. Hmm. You know what I could say? Instead of having to go off the tank, I could go de facto off of these. So, if I take a gate off of that, then I can say off of this one, if, let's see here. Yeah, you're facing a pipe, right? You're not. Why are you not facing... You should be able to say, like, if there is liquid in pipe. Or if there is not liquid in pipe, shouldn't you? Hmm. Maybe you need to be actually facing a gold pipe. Oh, shoot. Ah, so much derp. So much derp. Okay, so... If I put a gate on you, yeah, fluid traversing. Hmm, no, fluid traversing is not what I want. Okay, it needs to go off the, it needs to go off of the, uh, it needs to go off of the tank. Okay. Okay, that's okay. That is just fine. So we'll just run it off of there, run it under, I guess. Yep, this is gonna be a bit ugly, a bit janky, but it should work. So, run it off there. That should work. And one thing we want to make sure of is that uh, our hopper is not uh, overfilling itself. So we want to wait for the system to pressurize anyway. So it's maybe a good thing that we have a lot of derp going on. Yeah, see? The system is filling out still. So we're going to need quite a few gates. Let's fill this out. Uh, can I sneak a gate in there any which way? Yeah, that'll work. So, gate down there, saying... I'll also need blue pipe. Saying, wind tank... Tank empty, tank full... When there is space for fluid, emit blue signal. Now just run that right on down under. Get it on up there. And can you imagine if we were having to do this while also swimming in water? Yeah. Having a maintenance layer on your platform is very important, I think. Okay, and now we can just run that over. And we can say, when blue signal, emit redstone. We won't do that quite yet, though. We'll wait until we have fuel in the system. Oops. Yes, we will wait until we have fuel in the system to completely program those gates. All right. And... So now, we just need to make our fuel system for this thing. So, we need to 
put down our garden cloche, like right here. Now, garden cloche will auto output into a chest, and when the chest is full, it'll just stop producing. So they are already designed for safety. Pretty much from the get go. And we just need a pipe on that. Let's put the pipe on the top side to better fit where it'll need to go. Over into there. Give it gate, give it pulser, give it wire. So, and gate can go over there. Pulsar can go over there. Wire on down the line. Say, when you have blue signal, pulse the pipe. Say, when less than 75% full, emit blue signal. And there we go. Now all we need to do is get this garden cloche running. So, garden cloches need a couple of things in order to run. They need a sample of the good they're going to grow. They need power, they need water, and they need a soil. The soil in this case is just plain old sand, which I'm out of. Dig up a little bit of beach. Just need a single piece of sand. Let's make this a bit less ugly. There we go. And just throw out those. And look at that, we also get a sugar cane, which is what we want to grow. And that'll do. Oh, yeah, we're also going to need a pump. Yes, 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 yes. How dare I forget the pump. Uh, where are my mechanical bits? Did I spend all my mecha mechanical bits? I guess I must have. Well, let's just make more. I think it only needs one. And then, like three of those. Yeah, pumps are so damn cheap. They're beautiful. Alright, so it's also going to need a redstone signal. And it's also going to need power. Which, am I out of HP connectors? I think I am. Well, do I have any terracotta in stock? Yes, I do. Ah, uh, yeah, that's a trick. If you double-click the NEI bar, then it'll make a highlighter for you, if you're just searching for something. That's always convenient. And I think that's just aluminum, right? Yep. Okay. Indeed. And I didn't know about it for the longest damn time. I was... I felt very, very stupid when I first found out about it. I could have been doing that the whole time. And sometimes I, I periodically forget about it, too. Alright. And so, if we just put that there. Yes, we'll see it start to chunk into the system. This will take a very long time to pressurize. I'll probably go and have to fetch it some sugar cane. Because the, uh, the cloche will only barely keep it, keep it uh, at pressure. So, I probably want, you know, I'm not even going to bother with a pass-through. I'm just going to chunk a hole right here. 
Yeah, we'll just run it up through the floor, just the old-fashioned way. So we want our pump down there for sure. Just right on down like that. And we'll make sure that... Uh, down there. Well, no, I, I shouldn't lay this out. I should lay out my fluid pump first. And we'll determine how to get power up there once we determine how to get power to it. So, da, 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 da. where is that fluid pipe? There it is. So, gonna need fluid pump like right here. And then gonna need Hamar into that. Ah, completely wrong place. Completely wrong place for it. There we go. <laughs> Place it so enthusiastically, I, I suffocated myself. That's an enthusiasm for construction right there. Did I forget to pick up the redstone block? I did. That was silly of me. Uh, it's, it's not so much less chance of zapping as it is... Well, less chance of zapping is kind of my, um... My design philosophy with keeping most of the wires in the underlayer in the first place. It's also just more convenient. Like, if I was making a pass-through, I would be wasting three of these connectors in total. And I would be uh, putting, like, one right here and one right here. And it would just be messy. It would look terrible. It would be wasting materials. We might as well be slightly more efficient and just have a small hole in the ground, you know? So. How to get power to you? We are going to need our relays, of course. Hmm. Well, let's see here. Our closest power source looks like it's over here with these pumps. And I think that I can kind of just maybe make a floating block like right here-ish. Yeah, that might work. That might work. Ugh, I need building blocks. Do I have any sort of building block in here? Stone, but that would not work with Pyrotech. Even though I have Silk Touch, I would just dig up stone chunks. Yes. To understand pump, we must think like pump. To think like pump, we must do pumping. So, let us get beautiful lady and do some pumping, hey, hey, hey. It is for science, don't you know? Yes. She not cooperating. She not appreciate science. Uh, no, chiseled cobble still has just a bunch of weight to it. If I'm carrying around a building block, I'd like it to at least be weightless. So... Down to there. Can you reach here? Not quite. Shoot. Well, waste a relay. It's fine. And there. Okay. 
So that should now be running in the garden close. If I am not mistaken. Yes, look at that go. Look at that beautiful just... It grows so fast, it's like it's extruding up from the ground. Oh, beautiful sight. Our first industrial automated farm. And we see that it should immediately chunk into that chest, and that should immediately chunk into our burner. Excellent. So, as I said, I think I'm going to pre-pressurize this. Simply because that's really what the garden cloche will do, is it'll keep the system filled, but it would take hours to fill it up. Like, it, it would take a couple of hours to fill up all of, uh, all of that. Yes. Uh, I think that is actually a thing that people do. They make, um, it, it's not for the purposes of growing, but they make, like, little mini terrariums with a complete ecosystem in them. They have, like, shrimp and other little crustacean -y things, and they have algae, and they make it so that it's a self-contained ecosystem. And they just completely seal it off, and it'll survive for years. Just given sunlight coming in through the glass and all the little creatures cycling nutrients and resources amongst each other. They're very pretty little things. Yes, it's been a while since we visited the old sugarcane farm, isn't it? This is quite loud. Uh, I, the, uh, the pack had an update, by the way. The pack had an update, and it reset all my all my video and audio settings, so I'm probably going to have slightly wonky audio. I think I mostly have it set the way it should be. I think I do. Mostly. Mostly. Alright. But yes, garden cloches are probably how we are going to supply a biodiesel industry. So, this is not the last you will see of garden cloches. They will be quite valuable little things. And, uh, to supply a biodiesel industry, we are going to need a lot of them. Mm-hmm. Yep. And I'll probably be fiddling with things in general. Just, but, uh, yes, the update that came in is quite exciting. Apparently before, there was a recipe missing from Chapter 7, where, um, a bunch of recipes were harder than they had to be. Yes, yeah, so let's just chunk a bunch of sugar cane into here. Get the system going. Ah, good. That's pretty much exactly enough to pressurize the system. Alright, and now we can finally put that programming on these. Say that wind blue signal activate redstone. And yes, you see, that activates the igniters. And when the lava tank is full, they will shut the system off. Beautiful. Now it just needs one last little touch that I forgot about. We're going to need to put a chimney on this. If I remember where I put my chimneys. There. And we're going to need to put a pollution filter on this thing. Yes, if I just put this one chimney here, all those machines should... They still emit a little bit of smoke, but most of it should go away. And... Yep. Sugarcane burns for 15 seconds at a time. If I... Yep, see? Burn time, 15 seconds. At least in this pack, it does. And I'm not sure what that translates to in terms of smelt. 
But in this pack, at least, it works very well as an easy to automate fuel. Easy to infinitely automate, I should say, fuel. Indeed. Alrighty then, so. Gonna need these. Gonna need these. And let's start making a filter. So that's gonna need bar. Yep. Got my chimney, now I need to make my chimney sweeper. More bar. Oh yeah, that bar, eh? Mm, great big brown bar. Okay, and then it's gonna need four diamonds. And I think I'm out of wool. I have a bit. So then I need to make my filter over in here. And why do artisan tools have to do that? And we're also gonna need, am I out of extraction pipes? Yeah. Let's make a couple extraction pipes for the old logistics bag. Do I not have any sand, any glass? Hmm. Hey, my service ain't that bad. Are you saying you need me to service you more? How bold. Let's just throw those out. It's fine. We're trying to get rid of our sequoia. So... Da -da -da, into there. And... That should do it. So get on up there, get on up there. And in you go. And from there, just a void pipe. And a pulser. A pulser set to yes. Oh wait, not on that side. Need the wrench. Or even better, need a pipe plug. Yes. And set it to yes. There we go. And that will keep it nice and clean. And these things don't pollute that much. 40-ish wool should... Ah, uh, yes. First you demand a servicing, and now we're playing with the plug. Ooh, bold. And look at that, we have 15, 16 buckets of lava in the system already. Yup. This is a pretty effective machine. Mm-hmm. Well, we plugged them up. Was that a sugar? No, no, that was just from the system behind there. Ah, you're right, you're right, it is. It is connected to the other pipe. And plug. And there we go. Oof. Yep, yep. Well, that's, that's why we do a final debugging run around the machines, too. So... Sugar cane into there. When did that happen? Must have dropped a piece of cobble out of the pipe. Yep, system is nice and pressurized so far. Mm hmm. Well, that was less a sugarcane cannon and more just a sugarcane 
pointless destruction machine. Yes. All right. All right. I'm not seeing anywhere that this should break unless, unfortunately, this thing... Yeah, I saw cobble in this hopper. Was that because it was overloading this and dropping it out of the world? Let's see here. That shuts off. And then... How far does this load before the pipe stops? It might get overloaded. Yeah, we might need to reduce this even farther to 25%. Oh, no. No, it stopped. It stopped in time. Yep, it's a compact little lava machine. Huzzah. Yep, yep. And uh, the next solution would be um, if you find even with 25%, it's still overloading a hopper, a wooden hopper like this, then um, you just make another chest like right down there and then pull from that. Maybe. It could be that I derped, or it could be... Who knows? Who knows? Regardless, I think all the system is debugged now. And yep, this is going to steadily fill up with lava. So, I think that's all the time we have for today. But we have infinite lava now. And between episodes, I'm going to probably do what I usually do and expand the platform even more. But between episodes, I'm going to run pipelines for this lava down to all our artisan tables. And I'm going to just um, get the general purpose lava pipeline ready in general. So, yes, yes. When in doubt, when in doubt, play with the chest. Oh, <laughs> so many things happening today. But yes, I'm going to... Uh, Supply the artisan machines with our infinite lava. I'm going to get the lava pipeline ready. And we are going to use that lava pipeline for the automated smelteries. Yes, I'm also going to run it into our current smeltery. Need to move that parts chest in that case. Eh, I'll figure out a place for it. But yes, yes, yes. We are going to be using this pipeline of infinite lava to supply our smelteries that we're going to have out on site for things like an iron refinery off of an extractor, for things like um, an alloy furnace for our steel smeltery. This pipe will be going a long, long ways out. Oh, that's unfortunate. It's always beautiful having you here, 12th Century Fox. I hope that I managed to get a stream going when you're awake and available. Well... Be well. Be... I, I hope life treats you well. I hope work treats you well. And... I'm glad that I could keep you some company while you were out of commission. Oof, that's a ridiculous looking stack of hoppers, isn't it? But regardless... Yes. Well... Fox, anyone else who's listening, have yourself a beautiful day. Have yourself a lovely evening. And I will see you next time. Thank you for stopping by.